All right, today we're checking out the Castle Cases custom guitar flight case. Castle Cases are based in Staffordshire in the UK, and they make bespoke custom flight cases built to ATA touring standards. What I want to do today then is to just have a look at the case, um, go through the specs, show you what it is, show you what it does, um, and then we'll have a look inside just to have a look how well padded it is. Keep your guitar nice and snug. Um, and then I'll go through the procedure for sending off your own guitar outline so you can get them to build you a custom case as well. So first of all, the specs. Um, it's built with aluminium on here, and then we've got hexaboard on the sides. Hexaboard is a type of plywood, um, and it's 7 millimeters thick. The corners are protected by steel ball corner protectors, just to keep the, uh, the corners safe when it's banging about in the back of the van. Um, and you've got butterfly catchers on the front to open it, and heavy-duty hinges on the back. So there's a couple of options then when you place an order. Um, essentially, you can either have the hexaboard on the sides, which is a type of wood, um, or you've got these astro board um, options. Um, astro board is a type of plastic, and it's available in blue, red, or black. Um, and the the aim with the astro board is just to get the whole thing a little bit lighter. Um, so the astro board is about 40% lighter than the hexaboard which is great if you're traveling about a lot, you know, if you've got to think about airport baggage control, um, because these things do weigh quite a lot, so it gets that down a little bit. Um, we've got the dimensions then. It's going to be dependent on the type of guitar that you've got, the shape, um, but if you're looking at kind of a standard Strat Tele type of shape, they're about 110 centimeters long, uh, 41 centimeters wide, and about 15 centimeters deep. The weight, again, is going to depend on the, the type of guitar that you're putting in there and how big they've got to make the actual case. Um, but this one weighs about 10 kilos um, if it's made of hexaboard or 8 kilos if it's astro board. So we're going to have a look inside then, just check out what it looks like in there, um, and then I'll go through the procedure for ordering. So we're going to check out inside the case then. Um, you can see the butterfly catches here on the side. Um, you might notice as well, there's a little loop on each catch to allow you to put a padlock through the catches, um, which means you can lock it up for, for air travel and that kind of thing. So inside the thing, here we go, nice and snug. Um, the guitar has got no kind of movement room, so it makes sure it's not rattling about inside the case. And you've got a storage compartment just for some picks or leads or straps, whatever you want to put in there. <coughs> so yeah, the ordering procedure. Very simple. Um, essentially what you do is you get a big bit of paper. Um, I use kind of parcel wrap on a big roll, um, but you could use you know a big bit of cardboard, big bit of wrapping paper, anything that's big enough to put your entire guitar on it. Um, and you carefully draw around the outline of the guitar with a big thick marker or any kind of pen really. Now, you've got to watch out here. Um, if you're using a really thick marker, um, you've got to take into account that the, uh, the thickness of the actual barrel of the pen may make your outline a little bit wider. So you've just got to kind of check that the outline that you're making on the paper is the same width as your guitar, because that's what they're going to use to cut the, uh, the actual foam interior for your case. So when you've gone all the way around the outline of the guitar, what you're going to do is measure the height of the guitar from its lowest point to its highest point um, and just write somewhere on the paper what the height is. Again, one thing to watch out for, if you're wanting to leave your whammy bar in the guitar um, when you close the case, you're going to have to measure from the lowest point to the highest point of the whammy bar because the whammy bar is probably going to be a little bit higher than the actual body of the guitar. So when you've done that, um, all you've got to do is write your name, your address, contact telephone number, and make a model of the guitar on the paper. And then you take the whole thing and you mail it to Castle Cases, Copnill Farm, Ashby Road, Tamworth, Staffordshire, UK. And the postcode is B79OBT. So that's my demo of the Castle Cases custom guitar flight case. If you're doing a lot of traveling with your guitar, you've got to keep it safe. Um, so make sure you get yourself a good solid flight case. And I'm sure Castle Cases will sort you out if you get in touch with them.